Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. It is Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge time. So um, if you're not familiar with the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge, it's a 52 week challenge. So uh, one collage per week. There's five prompts, six with the bonus. So if you choose to do the bonus, you'll have six. Um, and she, Marguerite chooses those prompts and they are what's on the back of, I put them on the back here so you can see what each one of these is about. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I will put a link in the description box below this video if you want more information um, so you can go over and check out her channel and uh, go to her Etsy shop or however you decide. She's got a few different ways that you can get the prompts. So, or you can, you know, watch all of us that um, do the collages and get the prompts that way. So anyway, these are all my collages. I'll be skipping some. There's a video for each one of these um, collages. So if there's any that you want to see, there's one for each week. And I have them numbered, um, you know, by the week. So we are up to week 31. I am skipping some. <laughs> Let's see. We have 27, 29, 30 was last week. And we're up to week 31, which is crazy. I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Okay, I was just thinking about what I had. And I'm like, I think I'm pretty much oriented this way. So, this week we have something found in the desert. And I've chosen this sticker that I got from... Where did I put it? Oh, I do this to you guys every time. That botanical sticker book that um, I've showed you before. Oh, it's right here. The botanist sticker anthology and this is in my uh, amazon associates links and those are down below this video as well there's a description box like i said and um, it's in the link tree so if you see my link tree there's a bunch of links in there where you can either go to my instagram you can go to my etsy shop you can go look at my um Amazon associate links, what I have in there, kind of like things that I like to use the most. So that is where I got that sticker. And then fiber, yarn, or string. I kind of have all of that. This was all in a wad over by my sewing machine. <laughs> and there's even burlap in there, which I find is funny because obviously I'm not sewing using burlap. So anyway, uh, cursive handwriting. I had this this is could be considered one of my art scraps as well because this is a collage that I did on a whole size piece of paper to do the um uh oh my gosh why can't I ever remember the name of anything when I do videos um down by the sea digital download oh my goodness these were kind of like underlaying uh the blues and all that that I used for my um, under the sea digital download. So anyway, this is a piece of it and it has uh, cursive handwriting on it. So it kind of fills two things, but I have something for each thing. So this is going to be my cursive handwriting. There's, you can see there. Okay. And then an art scrap. I have these pieces of like, you know, that go, I put under stuff when I'm doing different art you can see numbers there so there's those and then um an eating or cooking utensil oh, seriously i found this hummingbird and it's an image of it and it's got fork a fork a fork and its body's made out of two spoons and then this is like a nail and two washers but there's forks and spoons okay and the bonus is a piece of coloring book page, which I've partially colored at some point or whatever watercolored. It looks like it's, you know, kind of warpy. So anyhow, have that. So that's what we're using. So I think I'm going to kind of start with this piece. And I may have to do a little extra gluing on these because sometimes I do these kind of, I don't glue every little edge down because I know I'm using them for background and whatever. So I don't, um, for my collages in, or for my, oh my goodness, for the digitals. 
I'm struggling today for some reason. I mean, more than normal. So I hope you're all having a good day. I'm having a good day. I've just been keeping busy and trying to get some stuff done a little bit early just so that I have time to do. I need to cut some more stuff on the Glow Forge. So I'm just trying to get stuff done so at the end of the week I can do that because that's kind of how I try to make that happen. I don't know if I'm going to use this whole piece just like this, but I think these I'm definitely going to tear. Yeah, there's some stamp offs on here and different, um, looks like alcohol inks and paint. I don't even know. <laughs> it's all kinds of stuff on here. Catch all. I just thought they would kind of look good. And I kind of feel like this has a obviously a deserty look to it. I'm going to ink around the edges though. Uh, I think I want to tear this one more. It's not quite so perfect. I'll save those little scraps because they'll be useful for something, I'm sure. So how are you guys all doing? I hope, I hope good. I hope the heat's not getting to you too much or whatever the thing is you have going on. It seems like we've all got flooding, fires. <laughs> I don't even know. It's just so crazy. So hopefully you're all doing well and staying out of the fray. God, I went and got gas and I'm like, seriously, why? It has gone up so much here, and I don't know if that's true for where you are, but I'm in Idaho, and, um, yeah, it's just gone up so much. Very annoying. I mean, luckily, like, I don't have to drive a lot, but my kids, you know, they're trying to go to college. Well, I mean, my son's got one more year of high school, but he still drives there, too, but he'll also be driving to kind of the, um, it's a college, it's not a community college, but I think that's how most people would consider it since he's a high school student. But anyhow, he'll be driving there. My daughter, I mean, it's good she got a dorm, but I just don't know how they're going to afford everything with all that. It's crazy. I like this one with the gold and all that too. Go like that, that way it'll stick out up there. And then we've got this. I think I'm gonna tear this down the center. But yeah, they're just they've gotten awful here. Let me know if you're also having a similar problem. I mean, I would assume it's, you know, obviously gone up all over, but. Yeah, not fun, anyhow. I just don't understand why we don't learn our lessons with these things. Uh, let's see, maybe this one could go down here. Do I want to tear it more? Let's see. I'm going to ink this because it's so, I mean, I don't mind kind of the white with that, but I do want to ink it a little bit. to ink my little hummingbird. This was just a stroke of luck. I just um, 
happen to see that and was like, oh my goodness, that's like perfect. Cause I was trying, racking my brain. I thought, okay, I could do a collage, um, say with like Egypt. And I thought, well, maybe I could find like one of their eating utensils, which I did find some pretty cool ones. And then I was like, I could do Vegas, which I really almost did because, you know, the something you find in the desert, you could have the Vegas sign and then um, you could do the whole buffet thing <laughs> to, for the eating utensil and whatever. But I wasn't just in love with that. And I thought about, what else did I think about doing? I don't know. I think it was mainly Egypt and, and that. And then I found that hummingbird and I was like, oh yeah, we're doing cactus because hummingbirds are in deserts too. I know I inked that and I didn't really need to because it's going to peel off like that, but I was just trying to get that edge. All right. So let me see. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these down. These ones here. Got stuff everywhere. So yeah, lots of stuff goes through your head when you're trying to come up with all these crazy prompts and try, I like to try to kind of make them go together, you know, so it's not just a bunch of random things stuck to a page. I like it to sort of have a story or, you know, something like that, but yeah, anyhow. Or did I want to maybe come out there more? I kind of got glue all over that, trying to get the glue on there. I'll go ahead and wrinkle this one a little bit too, because it's... It is all wrinkly already, so I might as well kind of take advantage of that, right? Trying to decide if I want this under, or I think it needs to go over. This is a little thicker. I'm just gonna go ahead and use art glitter glue. That piece is falling off right there. Oh, art glitter glue, come on. You can do it. It's been very temperamental. I think it needs to be, the little spout needs to get washed out again. I want that to stick out the top. edge just a little bit maybe even over this way further use this again since it's thicker paper and it's been watercolored and thus it's wrinkly love gluing paper. <laughs> it's just the best, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of want to do something on this texture right here, but I, I'm not sure what. I'm thinking the gold like I always do. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. I always do the gold on that stuff, but I just think it looks so cool. Just needs a little something. Get the lid off of it. I had my brush sitting there from when I used it earlier.
little bit down here too. Okay. And that is just um, um, paper that I have. I'm using my scrap to wipe my brush off on that way. It'll have some gold on it if I want to use it for something else. Um, it's like masking painting paper. You could even use this. I paint it with white acrylic or you could use gesso. Um, and then when it's dry, I run it through my embosser. So that's how I get that that paper if you haven't seen seen me do that put our sticker on I don't uh, this actually I do know I was thinking I don't think it needs anything and then I remembered these stickers are not super great especially on um, like the older paper like at those it must be that there's like a little dust in them or something and the stickers don't like it. So, ah, I do add glue to these, but you can or not, it's your choice, and you may try it with a few different things and see if it works for the items that you use it for. I mean, it's not like you have to do it, it's just from experience, it does. Um, it, they will come off. Words. And I don't like the shininess, and I forgot about that until I just glued it down. So I'm going to go ahead and run over it with a little matte medium. Where is my matte medium? Sorry, it's way up high. And that's just Liquitex gel matte medium. help take down the shine. I don't like that about stickers, magazine pages, etc. Plus it'll just help it stick even better. Try to sort of stay on it, around it. See right there it wants to lift. So they aren't super great at staying. Doing that little crisscross motion, hoping that when it dries, it will um, not be super obvious, you know. And we have our little, oh, we have to figure out where to put our string, don't we? There's probably nowhere I can tuck it now. Oh, silly me. I wanted it, I wanted to kind of tuck it under somewhere, but. I'm worried if I do that, because this has just been printed on copy paper, that that uh, is not going to stick. maybe we'll have it more as like where our cactus is sitting almost like sand or you know the dirt sand <laughs> that's the stuff that's in the desert right <laughs> wow some days i don't know so yeah more matte medium sorry i put it back and now i gotta get it again okay i just think that'll be the easiest to stick that down with These things just come as you mess with it. <laughs> the ideas, right? Okay, this I want to come apart a little bit more. It's very um, stuck together. This is going to be like 
probably horrible to watch. <laughs> Me trying to mess with this. But hey, it's all in fun, right? But feel, feel, feel free to fast forward if you so choose. And I understand. Okay, that needs a little more. I'm trying not to like leave big globs of it sitting on here. I have no idea what that would be, but like I said, I guess it could be sort of like the, the sand or something. I mean, you could also think of a bird's nest, but they don't nest on the ground like that. So <laughs> that's probably not the case there. Okay, let's get our little hummingbird, our spoons and forks glued down. Yeah, I felt very fortunate when I found that. Like that was a total luck out. It's like a piece of yard art, you know? Some people may even have one of those. I don't have one, but it would definitely go in the desert too. It would look cool in like a desert garden. cactus garden or something. I think I'm going to put a piece of this up here. I want like Don't want it out there. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'll have to come this way more. Ah, oh, yes, I like that better. Let's do that. Are you? Just munched it out there. Okay, so we have something found in the desert fiber, yarn, or string, cursive handwriting, all about. Um, an art scrap is my stuff here and eating or cooking utensil is my hummingbird and then the bonus is a piece of coloring book page yay so we have them all so we can do some stamping oh we got to put our number on got to have our number I think I'll put my number up here this time since I've got a nice little spot right there oops and those uh, numbers come out of my Etsy shop. And if I don't have them, just message me. I, I try to keep them printed, but as I've said before, or um, cut, not printed. But, um, you know, I just run out and then, but I'm always printing more, so just contact me. And then that way I can contact you when they're there so that you can get one if you're interested. They are fun to use on different pieces for sure. I ended up adding one to that little piece I did yesterday for the TCTC. I think it turned out cute because I just added a little number two to the front and it looked cute on there. There's a little 
probably stuff coming off my fingers. It's like, yes, I swear I bathe <laughs> every day. <laughs> and I wash my hands multiple times. <laughs> the 31. We can add some stamps. I do like that though. I am liking it a lot. Yay. <laughs> I wasn't sure because that was kind of a Lulu, I'm going to say. It was um it was a, it was a lot of wow. That's what it was. I think I might use this. I haven't used that in a while. It, I like it. I gotta use the bottom too, like the circles. Where do we want the circle? crazy little texture thing. My husband's like, I'm not, I don't even remember what I was printing when I printed that because I was like, can we make more, maybe bigger ones? <laughs> He's like, I don't even know what I was doing when I printed that. So who knows? We may f eventually figure it out. I don't know. Oh, come on, glue. Why are you being a pill? I just realized that piece is not glued down at all. I don't want it just straight. Okay. hummingbird motion there. <laughs> These are just spatters on a little stamp. It's just a cork. Um, I actually don't think I want to do that one again. Okay. I think we did it. Right. we've got everything on there. I just gotta glue the little thing on the back. There she is. Week 31. Gosh, isn't it crazy how fast time goes? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, crazy little combination of things. <laughs> 
being glued down. Um, yeah, I, I love this challenge. It's just, wow, sometimes I, when I saw eating utensil, I was just like, oh, come on, I don't... <laughs> And it was just a stroke of luck that I, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's it. That's perfect. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll chat again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.